Outlander, my time grows short. Clarity emerges, like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. All to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy so discord and disaster throughout the land, and ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sothasil's domain, Clavicus Vile distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra. To fight a Daedra, Azura's champion, Saren, in Archcanon's office. Seek guidance from her patron. But hurry, my time grows short. I'll stay with Lord Vivek. Do what I can to help him and alleviate his suffering. Some might consider it heresy to seek assistance from a Daedric prince, but if it restores Lord Vivek, then it can't be too wrong. He did? Well, of course, I'm happy to help in any way I can. I suppose I know a few things about this terrible situation. But we really must hurry. The energy provided by the Blessing Stone won't last very long. Oh, yes. Not only did Sothis Seal hide his greatest creation, he also protected it with powerful wards designed to keep Daedric entities from entering it. Barbus and his master will need to neutralize the defenses before they can step foot inside. I only know what I've heard. I've never visited the city myself. Sothis Seal built the place as a miniature representation of the world, but with more cogs and gears than you usually find in nature. He called it his Forge of the Future. A figure of speech, perhaps. So the seal believes he can reshape the world from within his city of brass tunnels and domes, but uh, who knows what that even means? Certainly Barbus thinks the place is important. Why else would he go to all this trouble? The shapeshifter? Uh, he's as tricky as his master, Clavicus Vile. I've heard he usually appears as a dog or a scamp named Creeper. I've never realized the Arch Cannon wasn't actually Tarvis anymore. If I'd been more observant, I could have stopped this. Clavicus Vile is the Daedric Prince of Trickery. He loves to make bargains with mortals, especially deals that lean in his favor. As far as Daedric Princes go, he's not one of the nice ones. Even so, to go after Lord Vivek like this, such audacity. And the Lady of Twilight deals in magic and prophecy. She has a long relationship with our people. But we also see her as weaker than the Tribunal in beneath consideration. For Vivek to reach out to her is unprecedented. Careful, Outlander. Hearsay isn't tolerated in Morrowind. Some revere Azura as the anticipation of Sothu Seal, so a degree of veneration is permitted. But for one of the Tribunal to suggest seeking her counsel, that's unheard of. Outlander, over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <laughs> Mortal, the Lady, the Lady of, of Twilight, Twilight has, has words, words for, for you. you. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well, for if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his hound, Barbus. Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbus seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, so the sealed wards have impeded him, but the Hound has Sunra. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. 
Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sotha Seal's creation. Stand back, and I shall summon the Mage of Cogs and Gears. Interesting. That shouldn't have happened. Now, where in oblivion am I? Mage, Mage this, this mortal, mortal speaks, speaks with the authority, the authority of the Mother's soul. soul. Interesting. Summoned by a Daedric Prince and her mortal mouthpiece. I was right in the middle of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sophia Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. Pistons fall into place. This concerns Sunara and Lord Viveka, I presume. Barbus, another Daedra. Thinking, thinking. So, Sophia Seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivek's energy which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. What is Barbus after? Wait, gears click into place? The Reservoir! You need to reach the Reservoir that contains Vivek's stolen energy before Barbus. I can get us to the entrance in Set's Vault, beneath the Mournhold Temple. Ready to go? You'll need my help. I know the city almost as well as Sotha Seal. Follow me. The Mother Soul... The Mother Soul... Talking through me. Even after the tragedy of my brother, I am blessed. But time is running out for Vivek. For Vardenfell. You must follow Barrelzar and stop Barbus. Meanwhile, Azura has other work for me to do. I think the Hound used Sonora to get inside. We have to hurry. Daedra! Vile creatures of chaos! Deal with them, please. Those Scaffen have agitated one of the Guardians. Seal's inspiring creations before we go inside. Over here! Don't let the hound see you!
<laughs> oh, my favorite dupe has finally arrived. <laughs> Junction. You may not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. And soon, you'll be able to witness my greatest achievement. I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. He'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise it will be highly entertaining. Oh, yes, indeed. The grandest. My master and his partner seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad, Barbus. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. But my master will be so pleased that I stepped in and made his plan even better. My master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. I saw an opportunity to improve his plan and make it better, so I took the initiative. This will get me back in my master's good graces, you'll see. Worried about the arch cannon? The poor old man. He died in his sleep. All peaceful like. I saw an opportunity and leapt right in. Stupid Vivek. He never even noticed. I was masterful in the role, though. Don't you agree? Nice chat, but I've got to run. I've got a barrel of Vivek energy to collect. <laughs> Should take care of the defenses, at least the most dangerous ones. I disabled most of the defenses in this section, but Sofa Seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbus is ahead of us, but I know many paths through the city. We're just like the fox that chased the hound. With my help, the probability calculates in your favor, but you must keep moving. The hound won't dawdle, unless he comes upon an interesting smell, or a tree. Since we know Barbus' ultimate destination, I can open routes he can't access. Only one logical place. To the atelier where Sotha Seal conducted his study of divine energy. Sunora would have sent the stolen power there. It's not far. What Barbus and his master want with Vivek's energy, though, remains unclear. Most of them. Might be a random contraption or a wandering factotum still out there. And if Barba smuggles in more Daedra, the other defenses will become active. Clear the path while I open the route. Then I'll catch up and join you. repair them later.
done. Must run. No one ever catches the hound. I can use these controls. Follow Balas. You are persistent. I'll give you that. Looks like you need more scoffing. Dave, little tricks. No matter. There's another path back the other way. Joy found a way through just like you said. But Barbus has Sunara. What does Vivex Toy have? Master, I'm close to our goal. With Vivex energy, I can open a portal and. Pray this works, my hound. For you interfered with a plan that wasn't intended for the likes of you. When you're finished with those fabricants, follow me. Beautiful, isn't it? One of Sotha Seal's favorite atelier. I think Barbas is already inside. That's the atelier behind me. Not only is this the workshop where Sotha Seal experimented with divine energy, it also has as one of the reservoirs that can be used to power the entire city. A reservoir currently filled with Vivex energy. Almost certainly. Sunara led him right to it. It won't take the Hound long to figure out how to access Vivex stolen energy. Then he'll try to open a portal for his master, Clavicus Vile. Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the Hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop him. The danger's too great to ignore. As I said, the Atelier is the workshop where Sotha Seal used Sonora to experiment with his own divine energy. The reservoir located inside was specifically designed to contain such massive power. As far as workshops go, it's a masterpiece. No, no, that's inadvisable. The Atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sotha Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls over there and help you from out here. You can't stop me if the defenses won't let you in. Torsion clutch activated. Open that vault and destroy its defenses.
roads responsive now. Open the North Fort and destroy its defenses. Final clutch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. Range fluctuations ahead. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry! I've turned this contrivance into a portal machine! Like my new armor? I wanted to wear something special when I kill you. Let me give you a taste of divine power! Navica's file is almost here! Seize Sonora, then retrieve Lord Vivek's energy from the Reservoir Conduit. Lots of interference. Makes it difficult to lock onto a destination. I'll go ahead to stabilize the connection. Hound, you have done enough for now. So, you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. How dare you discipline my dog! He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in manners. Indeed, what ambition! As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous, 
He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And we found the Clockwork City. This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You'll stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? Master! Quiet, dog! Haven't you... Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here at... Oh. Clavicus Vile. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek. But it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric tribe. Unfortunately, some power is interfering with my efforts to open a portal for you. Hmm. That would be unfortunate for you. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend a small amount of Vivex energy at the statue, and that should provide enough of a distraction for me to pull you out of there. Be gone, meddling wizard! Actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? Can you restore my energy? So you retrieved my stolen energy. You stop Barbus. Now, return what is rightfully mine. To quote my 75th exhortation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain, but I have confidence in you. In what you have done, use the staff. Return my energy, or not. In a little while, it won't matter. Oh, you soon enough and restore my energy. Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No Ordinator or Armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. As my next sermon shall proclaim. Modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer, or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude, and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. You have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be won.